Former Street Outlaws star Justin Shearer, also known as Big Chief, was known for his massive, gleaming motors and screaming tires. Fans are bracing themselves for the current season, which has an exciting American debut and a captivating spin-off called Street Outlaws, No Prep Kings. However, Big Chief is noticeably absent from the starting lineup. Fans are speculating because even if Team 404 is there, the veteran racer isn't participating. Where is Big Chief now? Did something happen that we haven't found out about yet? The specifics will follow. His extraordinary journey from his poor beginnings to his final exit has fascinated viewers with Big Chief's early days. Big Chief is a significant role on the famous racing program Street Outlaws. Hard labor, perseverance, and accomplishment are the themes of Big Chief's life narrative. His mother brought him up when his father died when he was a little boy. He was born Justin Shearer and was of Scottish descent. He entered this world in Louisville, Kentucky on December 19, 1980. What a fascinating adventure he takes on Street Outlaws. He began as a lowly underdog but swiftly became one of the show's most beloved stars. He stands out from the others because to his unfaltering commitment and enthusiasm for racing. Despite the difficulties, Big Chief's mother was able to raise her children alone and avoid marrying again. In order to further her profession, she worked two jobs while she was in nursing school. The 12-year-old boy's interest in motorsports began in 1992, when he and his family relocated to Oklahoma. Big Chief may have graduated from college in 1998, according to what is known. However, specifics about his schooling are not made public. Because he wanted to be a race car driver but couldn't afford college, he got his first automobile when he was 18 and worked as a gas station cashier. He met Alicia, who was equally enthusiastic about automobiles and street racing while working at the gas station. From 1998 until their 2005 engagement and 2006 wedding, their romance lasted for a long time. The couple's boys, Koval and Corbin, are born a year later. The well-known Oklahoma institution Midwest Streetcars, which specializes in auto parts and accessories, hired Big Chief. He was able to buy his first racing vehicle, a 1972 Pontiac Le Mans he called The Crow, thanks to his new job. The vehicle has emotional significance despite having extensive modifications due to a racing accident. Regarding the accident in particular, it is important to note that the inherent dangers of drag racing are present in Street Outlaws despite its safety precautions, particularly in spin-off series such as No Prep Kings. Big Chief was seriously injured in a 2015 race after a collision with Brian Chucky Davis. Big Chief's vehicle dramatically changed its look as it overtook Chucky's lane, overturned, and landed in a ditch. The perilous occurrence left Big Chief with spinal cord damage and a shattered collarbone, and Chucky with back injuries. There was an immediate trip to the hospital for both racers. After the accident, Big Chief made a public statement. Thank you, everyone. I'm pretty beat up right now. Just woke me up for some breathing treatments. Pulmonary concussions crushed my L2 to an L3 in my back, broken collarbone, and pretty beat up, but is thankful to be alive right now. They got me on non-stop oxygen and another round of CAT scans and x-rays coming up. The surgeon doesn't believe I'll need a back operation anymore, but they are going to keep me in the hospital again tonight to keep an eye on the launch. Yes, I will be back. When Big Chief joined the cast of Street Outlaws, he finally broke through. The program gave him the chance to show off his enormous personality and racing prowess. His magnetic personality and obvious skill drew in crowds. After appearing in the hit reality program Street Outlaws, Big Chief became well-known all over the world. He initially wasn't on the show, but his meteoric climb to fame began with his incredible racing skills. Not only does he regularly to the gym, but he also runs a successful merchandising firm that has a variety of apparel products branded with his likeness, quotes, vehicle information, or nickname. The more the seasons passed, the more famous Big Chief became. His fearless racing style and incredible skill in testing the boundaries of his car and himself made him an intimidating figure on the program. His status as an iconic character in Street Outlaws was solidified by memorable events, most notably his renowned races against other great racers. Thanks to his work on Street Outlaws, Big Chief gained notoriety and esteem among racing professionals. Different from the other racers on the program, 
He has a unique driving style and is ruthless in his pursuit of victory. Looking at Big Chief's ambitions and motivations outside of Street Outlaws may help us understand why he left the program. He ultimately sought out other challenges and prospects outside of televised racing, despite his tremendous success on Street Outlaws. During his stint on the program, Big Chief developed both emotionally and professionally. He decided to step away from Street Outlaws because he wanted to pursue other opportunities in the racing industry. Big Chief's departure allowed him to embark on thrilling new endeavors that would solidify his position in the racing world, and he embraced uncharted territory by doing so. Big Chief put an end to the speculation that he had strayed on his wife in 2017 by addressing the matter on his podcast. This occurred just before he made public his decision to end his long-term relationship with Alicia. Rumor has it that Big Chief had an affair with a woman whose name was not made public at the time, while his two boys' mothers were still alive. It was only after the public learned about Big Chief's and his wife's divorce that the rumor began, but Big Chief dispelled it on his podcast. According to Big Chief, it's no secret, obviously, that me and Alicia, my wife of 10 years, have been having trouble or whatever you want to call them. Well, it's more than just having trouble. We are actually getting a divorce, and that is happening. Jackie B.R., Big Chief's new business partner, is a racer and a member of Car Chicks, a group for women in motorsports. In addition to hailing from a long line of drag racers, she allegedly began competing at the little age of eight. The rumor's origin and Big Chief's ability to stop it in its tracks are both explained by this. Before production began on the new season of Street Outlaws, Fans had been reacting to Big Chief's absence and wondered what had become of him. As is his wont, Big Chief took to Instagram to document his show prep, prompting many to assume that he would be joining the group. A lot of people are starting to question whether he was ever even on the program since he hasn't appeared in any episodes yet. Many fans have speculated about Big Chief's departure from the program, with some speculating that he had a falling out with a fellow racer and others that he has unresolved concerns with the show's producers. Big Chief and Precious got into a fight in the season premiere, according to Reality Tidbit. Some suggested Big Chief departed because he wanted more respect, but many think that's not a good enough reason given his position. Rumor has it that Big Chief's wife Jackie was allegedly engaged in the fight as well. However, this has not been proven. Leaving Street Outlaws was not an easy choice for Big Chief. He wanted more from life than what he could get in the Street Outlaws universe, which was one of the reasons he left the program. Big Chief thought he had achieved his goals after spending so many years on the program. He was now well recognized as a racing legend, and his devoted followers were growing. But outside the realm of reality TV, he longed for new experiences and a chance to investigate other facets of racing. Also, Big Chief said he wants to take it easy and be with his loved ones more. Filming Street Outlaws was so demanding that he felt he needed to put his loved ones first after spending so much time apart from them. Disputes between Big Chief and his fiancée ensued when Precious seemed dissatisfied with the new season's regulations. Beyond this, no more details were made available. Big Chief went on YouTube to put a stop to the endless speculation about his exit from the popular show, which had begun after video of the fight went viral. In the almost hour-long video, he explained to viewers exactly what's happening with Rowdy, America's favorite racing program. Big Chief's ability to settle his differences with the show's creators is up in the air. Big Chief explained his extended absence in his videos by stating that he was subject to the show's production regulations. It would seem that Big Chief Chief's disapproval of street outlaws is based on production and corporate regulations. He appeared to have a particular problem with the race your way in policy. According to this guideline, the participants in street outlaws will be filmed if they win certain preseason races. Although some street outlaws Memphis racers did participate, Big Chief saw that others were ignored. There was a huge hole in Street Outlaws lineup when Big Chief departed. Both the relationships between the group and the show's general energy and enthusiasm were dampened by his absence. Big Chief sought to clarify things and clear up any confusion about his leaving by directly addressing these reports. In the middle of much conjecture, 
His candor helped put things in perspective and gave his supporters insight into his driving forces. An excellent aspect of Street Outlaws was the camaraderie and trust between the racers, especially Big Chief. Fans treasured the unforgettable occasions made possible by their friendly competitions and partnerships. These relationships changed when Big Chief left the show and the cast and viewers had to adapt. But change is constant in television, and Street Outlaws embraced it by adding new characters with distinct racing styles and personalities. A number of fans were sad to see Big Chief go, but many were excited to see the new faces and hear what they had to say about the street racing scene. Keep in mind that Big Chief has already taken time off to concentrate on his family and himself. It's conceivable that he may repeat this decision for season four, which would explain his absence. Although Big Chief's participation in No Prep King season four is still up in the air, a recent Instagram post by the Street Racers confirmed that he is getting ready to start filming Season 2 of America's List, effectively confirming that he will be appearing in the show's sophomore season. Thank you to everyone who has supported Big Chief on YouTube in his latest post, Big Chief's New Ventures Big Chief. He made it clear that he plans to get the crow going tonight and do some asphalt testing over the weekend. Additionally, he informed his audience that production would soon begin on America's List Season 2 and that an enormous announcement, possibly the most significant event in Street Outlaws history, will follow soon after. According to his post, Chief may be wrapping up his time with No Prep Kings, but he shows no signs of wanting to quit the Street Outlaws series just yet. So we can expect to see him racing with the Crow again soon. We think it's for the best that Big Chief made this choice, even if it may disappoint some of his admirers. We need a better policy for every Prep Kings race since they are all dangerous. We doubt Big Chief's legion of admirers is prepared to say goodbye to him just yet. So here's hoping the two sides can work out their differences peacefully and Big Chief returns to the program. Are you, however, investigating Big Chief's post-street outlaws endeavors? Big Chief's enthusiasm for racing and his ambition to create a lasting effect in the motorsports world were highlighted via a number of interesting undertakings and endeavors that he embarked on. The expansion of Big Chief's participation in the racing scene outside of reality television is one of his prominent new undertakings. Both as a competitor and a coach for up-and-coming racers, he is still very much involved in the racing world. At these events, he enlightens other racing fans and encourages them to follow their passions by sharing his extensive knowledge and expertise. Big Chief has dabbled in various business ventures in addition to his ongoing involvement in the racing scene. He has considered forming alliances with automakers, working with them on one-of-a-kind vehicle creations and advertising items associated with the racing world. In addition to allowing him to broaden his professional network, these endeavors open up new doors for his career advancement and achievement. The fact that Big Chief overcame overwhelming odds to become a celebrity on Street Outlaws is a testament to his dedication and love of racing. As said before, Big Chief had a tough childhood and had to overcome a lot of obstacles to become successful. He was unable to follow his aspirations due to a lack of resources and financial limitations. Nevertheless, these challenges only serve to strengthen his will to triumph over hardship and establish himself as a prominent figure in the world of racing. Big Chief's love for racing never wavered, no matter what came his way. In his spare time, he would build on automobiles, practice driving, and research racing techniques. His perseverance was rewarded as he started to gain recognition in the local street racing community, where he encountered both difficulties and triumphs. Fans and other racers have been quite supportive of Big Chief's new ambitions, but they haven't been easy either. Leaving the comfort of street outlaws had its own challenges for him to conquer. Making a name for himself outside from the show was a major obstacle. He wanted to establish a reputation outside of the street outlaws brand so he could focus on his own accomplishments and contributions. The motorsports community now recognizes Big Chief as an authority in his field because to his dogged persistence and unwavering commitment. In spite of all this, Big Chief's career after the Street Outlaws was a smashing success. Beyond his meteoric rise to stardom on television, he has accomplished much in the world of motorsports, 
whether it be by winning races or by establishing influential contacts. He demonstrated that reality television is not the be-all and end-all. Big Chief has a remarkable assortment of important attributes in addition to his tremendous racing skill, which has propelled him to the pinnacle of achievement. Big Chief has a number of notable belongings that add to his net worth, including his legendary automobile, which he refers to as the Crow. He has a property in Kentucky that he can use as an asset to relax and enjoy nature, away from the hustle and bustle of street racing. He also has a Los Angeles residence, which is further proof of his wealthy lifestyle. Big Chief takes tremendous delight in his extraordinary collection of cars since he is a dedicated auto aficionado. Every automobile in his collection is hand-picked because he loves them all. The hunt for a new lead. Street Outlaw's devoted fan base felt the effects of Big Chief's departure. His larger-than-life demeanor, exciting racing, and magnetic presence had become routine for his fans. All throughout the globe, viewers could feel the emptiness that his departure brought. After Big Chief's departure, many fans spoke out about how they felt, expressing their regret and despair. There was an outpouring of love and gratitude for the influence he had on the program on social media. As they came together to show their admiration for Big Chief and everything he has done for Street Outlaws, the relationship between his supporters and him was clear. Big Chief's departure from Street Outlaws left a void that the producers sought to fill with new talent. While initial reactions to the new cast members varied, many viewers eventually embraced the fresh dynamics they brought to the show. Yet, none could overshadow Big Chief, whose tenure was marked by deep friendships and passionate rivalries among the cast. His camaraderie with fellow racers was pivotal, showcasing the importance of collaboration in street racing. Despite their rivalries, they often worked together, displaying both individual resolve and collective support during tough races. Outside of the show, Big Chief is pursuing ambitious goals in racing and expanding his commercial ventures. With a reported wealth of over $10 million, he continues to make waves in the racing world with new projects and mentorship initiatives. Big Chief's impact extends far beyond street outlaws. He's helped elevate street racing into mainstream motorsport and inspired countless aspiring racers worldwide. His departure marked the end of an era, but his influence remains palpable, motivating others to pursue their dreams with dedication and perseverance. Even though Big Chief isn't on Street Outlaws as often as he once was, his legacy lives on in the show. Fans who were there for his exciting races, magnetic personality, and dogged persistence still think of him and his time on the program warmly. Much obliged for your time. Till next time.